What happens to your heart and body when you take spicy food every day? Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Today, we will talk about spice. Okay, spicy foods. Actually, when we talk about spicy food, we usually refer to the type of foods that are served primarily with chili and other seasonings, such as garlic, onion, turmeric, cumin seed, hot tomato sauce, salsa, etc. By the way, spicy food is not only about loosening clogged nose and turning up body heat. It means more than what we believe it to be. It has numerous health benefits. However, some people are allergic to it. Let's dive deeper into different type of health benefits of spice and spicy foods. Number one, it helps in fighting cold. Among spicy foods, chili pepper is the best pick to fight cold allergy or common cold problems. Chili peppers are full of vitamins like A, C, and contains capsaicin. Capsaicin activates the mucous membrane of the nose and it opens nasal passage and reduces sinusitis. Number two, it fights against cancer. Studies have shown that capsaicin in chilies and other plants of that group slows down the growth of cancer cells by inducing autopsy, programmed cell death. Capsaicin slows the growth of deadly tumors and kills off leukemic cells. You have probably heard of leukemia disease. People with leukemia produce uncontrolled amount of white blood cells in the blood, and this overproduction of white blood cells disrupts the normal function of the blood. Chili peppers, along with turmeric and mustard, work as a powerful anti-cancer drug in the body. An epidemiological study has shown that Indian and Mexican people have lower rates of some cancers. The phenomenon has been associated with their taking foods rich in capsaicin. Number three, good for heart health. Spicy foods are good for cardiovascular diseases. Yes, they are. Chili peppers contain a chemical compound named as capsaicin. Capsaicin fights against inflammation. It also reduces the bad cholesterol, LDL, in the blood. Capsaicin improves body's ability to dissolve blood clots. By working against the inflammation and bad cholesterol, capsaicin reduces the risk of stroke and heart attacks. Dr. Ziming Zhu said that spicy flavor reduces the urge of taking salt, which in turn contributes to the lowering blood pressure. A study has claimed that intakes of chili peppers, along with ginger and turmeric, widen arteries. Number four, improvement of digestion process. Spice increases the hydrochloric secretion of your stomach. It also improves mucus lining. Capsaicin kills off H. pylori and other bacteria in the gut. It staves off stomach ulcer. Capsaicin boosts up the digestion process. Number five, spicy food lifts your mood. Spicy food increases the secretion of feel-good hormones like endorphin and serotonin. It also staves off stress and depression. So, if you are in low mood next time, try having spicy food and check how your body responds to it. Number six, weight loss. Studies have shown that capsaicin has a thermogenic effect on the body. It means that capsaicin burns out extra calories from your body. It increases the body temperature. Another study has found that capsaicin induces you to take less amount of food, which in turn contributes to less amount of calorie intake. Number seven, Pain relief. Capsaicin can inhibit the signals that are sent from nerve cells to brain. It targets the brain chemical called substance P. This chemical plays a significant role in injuries and hurts. It deadens the sensation of pain you might be feeling. Capsaicin is also used in certain pain relieving creams in order to reduce the burning sensation from the pain source. Number eight, sweating. If you eat spicy foods, you might feel that your body is sweating. This is a normal response. Due to capsaicin's heat-producing effect in the body, your brain determines that your body is overheating. So, it needs to be cooled down by sweating. Number nine, relief from arthritis. Turmeric, garlic, cinnamon are one of the ingredients of spicy foods. Turmeric reduces the joint inflammation and bone damage. The chemical compound found in turmeric is called curcumin. It helps in the alleviation of pain associated with arthritis disease. Cinnamon and garlic have also anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. In addition, some creams containing capsaicin are used to get relief from joint pains. Number 10, suppression of prostate cancer. A 2010 study published in Future Oncology Journal says that capsaicin can work against the growth of prostate cancer. Prostate gland helps in the production and transportation of male seminal fluid and sperm. Patients with prostate cancer can have erectile dysfunction and may have difficulty in urinating. 
Good news is that like other anti-inflammatory foods and drugs, capsaicin can help in suppressing the prostate cancer. Although spicy food has a huge number of health benefits, people have experienced some negativities too. Number one, heartburn or acid reflux. A few people experience heartburn after eating spicy foods, although the reason is unknown. But heartburn is a kind of indigestion. The person affected by heartburn feels acute pain in the lower part of the chest. When stomach acid passes back to the throat, it causes a burning sensation and heartburn occurs. Health experts recommend having yogurt to counteract the effect of spice. Number two, skin irritation. In order to avoid this burning sensation of green chili, wear gloves before cutting chili peppers. Wash your hand with dishwashing liquid or milk or oil instead of water. Number three, desensitization of taste buds. If you eat spicy food too much, your taste buds can be toned down and your taste buds may be desensitized over time. Health professionals say that this may happen in extreme cases. So, the recommendations you should follow. Traditionally, South Asian and Mexican foods are considered spicy. With the passage of time, spicy foods have gained popularity all over the world. Most important point is that spicy foods turn you on. Next time, if you are in a low mood, Try to have something spicy and keep an eye to the reaction of your body. And of course, you must try moderate amount of spicy foods every day. So, if you guys liked my video, please let me know in the comment section.